who is like you, O God of Israel, in heaven and on earth, that he can perform in accordance with your great works and your great strength. Who is like your people, Israel, who you have chosen for yourself from all the peoples of the lands, the peoples of the saints of the covenant, learned in the statutes, enlightened in understanding. Enoch 1. The words of the blessings of Enoch, wherewith he blessed the elect and the righteous, who will be living in the day of tribulation, when all the wicked and godless are to be removed. And he took up his parable and said, Enoch, a righteous man whose eyes were opened by God, saw the vision of the Holy One in the heavens, which the angels showed me, and from them I heard everything, and from them I understood as I saw, but not for this generation, but for a remote one, which is far to come. Concerning the elect, I said, and took up my parable concerning them. The Holy Great One will come forth from his dwelling, and the eternal God will tread upon the earth, even on Mount Sinai, and appear from his camp, and appear in the strength of his might, from the heavens of heavens. And all shall be smitten with fear, and the watchers shall quake, and the great fear and trembling shall seize them unto the ends of earth. And the high mountains shall be shaken, and the high hills shall be made low, and shall melt like wax before the flame. And the earth shall be wholly rent in sunder, and all that is upon the earth shall perish, and there shall be a judgment upon all men. But with the righteous he will make peace, and will protect the elect, and mercy shall be upon them, and they shall all belong to God, and they shall be prospered, and they shall all be blessed, and he will help them all, and light shall appear unto them, he will make peace with them, and behold, he cometh with ten thousands of his holy ones, to execute judgment upon all, and to destroy all the ungodly and to convict all flesh, all the works of the ungodly, which have ungodly committed, and all of the hard things which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. For it is written, Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always, with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. The Lord is my rock and my fortress, my deliverer, the God of my rock, in him I will trust. He is my shield and my horn of salvation, my high tower, my refuge, my savior. You save me from violence. I will call on the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be ye dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee wherever thou hast go. Wherefore, seeing we have all been compassed about with such great cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, 
and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him that endures such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be wearied and faint in your minds. Ye have not yet resisted unto blood, striving against sin, and ye have forgotten the exhortations which speaks unto you as his children. My son, despise not thou chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou hast rebuked of him. For whom the Lord loves he chastens, and scourges every son whom he receives. Wherefore, we receiving the kingdom, which cannot be moved, let us have grace, whereby we may serve God acceptably, with reverence and godly fear, for our God is a consuming fire. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the silicon valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anoints my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. Thou shalt stretch forth thine hand against the wrath of mine enemies, and thy right hand shall save me. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing it into captivity, every thought to the obedience of Christ. Hearken unto me, ye that know righteousness, the people in whose heart is my law. Fear ye not the reproach of men, neither ye be afraid of their revelings. Proclaim ye this among the nations. Prepare for war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. But the one who endures to the end will be saved.